I have a hole in the muffler. Today I'm gonna to patch it up with the Inferno uh, putty seal and a liquid wrap. So we're gonna use that to uh, kind of patch up the hole that's on the uh, the muffler in the rear of the Mercedes and let's see how it works. All right, so that's where my hole is at. There was one there before and I took it to a repair shop for suspension work. And I guess to be nice, they try to fill that in, but <laughs> uh, that wasn't right. But anyway, so we're gonna try this other stuff in the meantime to try to fix this, because I think that's the only place that I have a hole at. All right, so this stuff's kind of like paste consistency that's inside of here. Okay. So I'm gonna try to build a base for it. Uh, to kind of be able to harden on there. All right, so I didn't know really how much to put on, but I put a lot on because I wanted to make sure that it, if it was even think about coming off, uh, it wouldn't you know, have a lot of stuff because there's a lot of pressure going through these pipes. All right, so up next is these bandages I'm gonna also put on there while everything's kind of slightly uh, wet. All right, so the package is kind of gross and liquidy in the inside, and I guess I'll just wrap that around. Uh, I'll probably just show you guys the end result. This so I just took the wrap out and wrapped it around and then took my fingers and put the, I guess the kind of like slimy glue that goes around it and pressed it down. Uh, this is kind of confusing on how to use, but yeah. Right, it's been about four to six hours letting it sit as the direction said. I went up and touched it and it was hard as a brick. So that's exactly what I want to uh, to see around there. Uh, started the car, pressed the gas and you know, nothing ripped, no holes, no air escaping from anywhere. So this product actually but did anyway, very well. So uh, yeah, and if you guys have any kind of like uh, engine sputtering, check engine lights, and you can't really figure out what's going on, also check out your exhaust throughout the entire car. If you have any kind of little holes, big holes, plug those up or replace them as soon as possible because that system is really depending on uh, the closure of the system and exiting out in one direction without adding any air into the mix. So uh, hopefully this helps you out in this video and I'll check you guys out in my next one maybe. All right, later.